New at 11, there are new developments on the decision by Rhode Island State University to arm campus police officers. As Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan tells us, the union representing faculty members is not on board with the decision. Despite the URI president announcing that campus police will be armed, some students and a union representing faculty members are not happy and still want answers. One year ago, URI had a gun scare at the Chafee Social Science Center. Campus police had to wait for South Kingstown police to arrive before going inside the building. A lot can happen in seven minutes. After that incident, the university held several forums and discussions that eventually led to the president announcing campus police would be armed. President David Dooley said, quote, to ensure a timely and effective emergency response, university police officers must function as our first responders and therefore must be equipped to carry out this responsibility. To do anything less could put members of the URI community, including the men and women of the university's police department, at risk. But a union representing faculty members believes it's unnecessary and met Tuesday to discuss their options. We don't have a crime problem here at URI. We've never had a serious incident on campus that would merit something like taking this kind of action. We, as a state and as an institution, can't afford to do this. The university says the move will cost $150,000 up front, plus an additional $23,000 every year after that. A student we spoke with suggests that money should be used for other solutions, like counseling and mental health services. If we're ready to put money into arming the police, why aren't we putting money into certain centers and resources here on campus that even don't get enough promotion? Now, the union wants the university to reveal a use of force guidelines. The university has says it will start to roll out the plan in June and it will be fully implemented by next spring semester of 2015. We've also learned that campus police will be going through a two week firearms training course with the state police. Reporting with the Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.